Hi, I'm Carrie Murphy and welcome to Inspired Living. Today, I am sitting down with Bonnie Jill Laughlin, who is the one and only female scout from the NBA. Bonnie Jill goes from basketball to bikinis and even philanthropy, and today she's going to tell us all about it. I'm not big for you. I'm big for me. Wow, like, because um, I really thought I was on my way. Only you can stop you. Go for it. First female scout for the NBA. Bonnie Jill Laughlin is a Maxim model, former NFL cheerleader, and the only female scout in the NBA. The original Girl Scout. She's speaking the pros that are changing the face of professional basketball. And because she's also beautiful, you might think it came easy. But it was hard work and perseverance in a man's world that have skyrocketed her career. The only female scout in the NBA. Anytime you're in a man's world, you have to work a little bit harder. I started off as a sportscaster covering the Los Angeles Lakers. So Jerry Buss and Mitch Kupchak, our GM, said, hey, we've always wanted to try out a female to get a different perspective. Would you mind trying to scout? And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I'd love to. It was funny when I first started, a lot of people I met, they were telling me, make sure, Bonnie Jill, you still be you. Don't try to change. Don't try to be a boy, you're never going to be. Which cracks me up because you're like ultra <laughs> feminine. Everyone knows your background, you're a cheerleader, your model, this and that, you know your stuff, who cares? And I've kind of embraced that. So how did you find that shift for you? I think what for me, I had to take a balance. You know, when I would be in the you know draft meetings and different scouting meetings, women think if you're in a man's world, you're supposed to not be attractive or, you know, and I'm kind of here to say, no, you can be all those things mm -hmm. and still conquer, you know, what you want to in your career. At a young age, Bonnie Jill's love of sports and the simple life gave her a unique perspective on work, fame, and grounded her ideas on success and identity. So when you were growing up, would you consider yourself a tomboy? Definitely a tomboy. I, like, I would read the Sporting Green, which is a sports page, and just, and just, I don't know, try to take it all in. My dad was season ticket holder for the San Francisco Giants, for the Niners, the Warriors. Dad, where do you go to college? How fast did he run the 40? I wasn't the little girl who was, oh, let me get the foam finger, <laughs> and the cotton <laughs> candy, the and the cracker yeah. jack. Yeah, no, I was completely different. You're not a city girl. No, I'm actually a country girl. You know, I was raised outside of San Francisco, you know, small little cow town, per se, and then would spend my summers in Texas, so I'm a total cowgirl. You have this really beautiful feminine side of yourself, but you've also learned how to play hardball with the boys, right? right? What advice would you give? I would say, first of all, is to believe in yourself and to be comfortable in your own skin. Be happy with who you are. Another thing is, sacrifice. I don't think a lot of people realize that, you know, in all different careers, not just mine, that there's a lot of things that you have to sacrifice. For me, you know, relationships have been put on hold or marriage or, you know, kids or, you know, be able to see your family members as much. I would also say work ethic is very important. I don't care top of your game. You still have to just really embrace everything about your your work. So I'm very curious to know, how's your dating life? Yes, it's crazy. I mean, I have a boyfriend, but um, luckily he's very supportive in what I do because I think that's the most important thing. Absolutely. Any relationship is having stability, foundation, someone you can be your rock. I've been in relationships before where they've said, you're too ambitious, Bonnie Jill. You're too independent. I'm like, there's no such thing. Right. <laughs> that means that you're insecure. Men can be just as insecure as women. They get a little intimidated. So it, you've got to find someone that compliments you. I've experienced this, and I'm sure you have too, Bonnie Jill, that the higher up the ladder you go, there are people that just can't wait to knock you down, whether it's social media or on blogs. Or oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry. I, 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 <laughs> it's funny. I don't know if it's just how women are with other women. I get a lot of women who are just like negative and you know very mean, especially on social media and you know just that's what's very rare when I get women who are like oh my god it's amazing you know I do get that it's inspiring but you also get that flip side of people. How do you handle the people bashing you and the social media bullies and all those uh, things? For me I push forward and know that I'm happy with what I'm doing. Just like I don't care. I still don't care anymore. Yeah. I've worked really hard regardless of people think or you know their perception. You know, as you get older, you just tend to shift your focus on positive things and things that make you happy. And I know that I'm a good person. I do a lot with you know my philanthropy work. That that's a really big part of who you are. Very big part. So I started my nonprofit Hounds and Heroes in 2010, and I wanted to combine both my passions of military, supporting our troops, and animal welfare. Bonnie Jill has leveraged her success, 
bringing together celebrities, star athletes, and veterans to raise awareness about PTSD, TBI, and animal rescue. Our big program right now, what we're doing is we're rescuing dogs from the shelters and then we're pairing them up, we're training them, and then pairing them up with soldiers and Marines that come back. We're saving two lives. You're saving a dog from a shelter that probably would have been euthanized and we're saving the life of a soldier who's struggling so much to even like go on with their day. Regardless of what you do in your career or your status, that you should be able to give back. I think we're kind of put on this earth to make a difference. That's how I, yeah. how I think. But we all have something. I always tell people give. that. I go, I don't care if you don't have any money. You can donate a couple hours a month, you know, or, yeah. or on the flip side, if you do have money but you don't have the time, you can, you know, do it financially. There's so many ways. If you can believe this, thriving as a scout, model, and philanthropist, Bonnie Jill's dreams and career are just getting started. You're in your 30s. What's next for you? Like, where do you see yourself five, ten years from now? Five, ten years from now, I hope to own my own team. That is the ultimate goal, Carrie, is to own, own my own team. Like, I am loving your ambition, girl. That's awesome. I just, you know, I'm one of those people you only live once. Why not try to conquer as much as you can? I know so many people, you know, friends of mine who have so many regrets because they didn't go after their dream. So I kind of am here to say, you know, don't dream it, be it. You are so inspiring. If people want to find out how to get in contact with you or more about your charity, how do they do that? It is houndsandheroes.com. Hounds with an S, heroes with an S, dot com. Houndsandheroes.com. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching this Inspired Living interview. If you want more inspiration, and I know you do, because that's what makes us thrive, head on over to inspiredliving.tv. And remember to keep dreaming it, living it, and being it. Till next time.